Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're introducing a new series of videos called Anatomy of the Mix. This will be a first video in a multi-part series where we take one song and we break it apart and explain how we put our mix together. And we'll analyze it from the top down and break down each element. So we hope you enjoy it. This first song is called The World is on Fire by Moguls of Mayhem. I'll play a little bit of it for you so you get an idea how the track goes. There'll be links below to this song so you can hear it in its entirety, mastered and finished. Also, please subscribe, click the like button if you like the video, and hit the notification button so we can let you know when more content is coming. Thanks. All right, so let's play it from the second half of the verse, a little bit of the pre-chorus, and some of the chorus so you get an idea of the song. So you have a general idea of what the song is. So let's dig in and talk a little bit about what's happening here in the mix. So looking at this session, you can see on the top where this audio is right here in green. That's the actual mix printed back into Pro Tools. And you see I have a bus here called Mix Print. The output of this auxiliary channel is Mix Print, which feeds the input of this audio channel and the input is Burrow. So that stands for my Burrow B2 Bomber. So I have four Lynx Aurora interfaces. So that gives me 32 channels analog outputs that get summed down to two through the summing mixers and go into the analog input of the Burrow. The digital output of the Burrow feeds back into the session. You have the best possible conversion going in and the other units are used for inserts for analog gear and digital gear as well. So for monitoring, I have the Dangerous Convert 2, which gives me a, a super accurate signal to listen to. And I also have ATC 25 monitors, which are great sounding for the size of my room. And the room's been tuned by Crossley Acoustics. So I know what I'm listening to is true. So in my mix bus, I have some processing. The main sort of heavy lifting processing is done in the analog world. You'll see this dangerous liaison B. So the dangerous liaison is a patching device with six paths, and I can send in and out any devices I want on those. So my path B has three devices that I have I'm using right now in the mix down path. And that would be the Tone Lux compressors, the dangerous compressor, and the dangerous back CQ. So the dangerous back CQ gives me some lift in the high end and in the low end and filters out any unnecessary things in the ultra highs and lows we don't want. The Tone Lux has a great lower mid range and a really great low end feeling when you use that compressor and I can dial it back so I have it on about 40% mix. So it's at 20 to one and it just does something beautiful to the mix and I want to thank my buddy Michael James who's a great engineer and producer who hit me to that and I've pretty much copied the settings and left them. Then the dangerous compressor is used as another level of glue. So I'm gonna play the chorus and just pop in and out the dangerous liaison loop which is the three outboard pieces of analog gear. So here it's in out. So you can really hear the difference with that. I mix into all of these things. 
it allows me to do a lot less work on individual channels and groups of sounds by having this in place. And I've experimented a lot, and it's in my mix template. You'll have to do the same. Just check all the gear you have and try all these different things. Maybe some of this will inspire you what to do or maybe what not to do. So first in the chain, though, I do have this plugin, the Brainworks Plugin Alliance VSC2. Kind of an SSL compressor vibe. It's definitely a glue factor and a little bit of gain makeup, not a lot. It's The meters are barely touching on this one. Second one is the Greg Wells Mixcentric. I have no idea what this does, but it sounds great. And when I push it up three bars, it does a little sheen on the high end and, and it gives some kind of focus to the lower mids that's great. And I can't really explain it, but it really helps. Then the Manly Massive Passive, some high end and low end boost, some lower mid boost. I can adjust these per song or not use it at all, depending upon what the source material needs. The Brainworks V2 Stereo Midside Equalizer. I kind of weaned off the EQ part of it as I got this analog chain together. What I really still like on it is this stereo width portion. So let's check out, if you watch that, if I click here, back on the pre-chorus, it's on 120. If I click up to the chorus, it goes up to 132. If I'm in the verse, it's at 107. I'm gradually widening the tune and giving it a big expansion in the chorus. So it helps make my life easier making the choruses pay off. FabFilter Pro-L. FabFilter stuff, all of it's great. I use a lot of it. This limiter is mainly to keep me out of trouble so I don't hit the ceiling and distort. And the last piece in the chain, which is probably one of the most important, and it doesn't even do anything to the sound, is another plug-in alliance plug-in, the adapter AB. What's great about this is you can analyze your signal and you can compare it to other records. So here, check this out. So we're seeing a graph of my frequency response. So we're gonna play mine and then we're gonna bounce off to another song you may or may not recognize and look at that. So you can see the differences in the graph. What happens is, is that particular song is mastered. And what's great about this plugin is you can match the levels. So before I'd have to have a second track set up with playlists and I'd have to flip back and forth, I'd have to gain match and it would change from song to song. This automatically takes care of it. So it's an awesome plugin and it's well worth every penny. So that was The World is on Fire by Moguls of Mayhem, Anatomy of a Mix, number one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so we can let you know when we have more. Hope you stay healthy and well. Keep making music. Thanks.